Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Sam and I would love to have you guys subscribe so you won't miss out on any new videos. So today I thought it would be really, really fun to do a video that I see a lot on TikTok and it's kind of like how to get the clean look, but today I'm going to be showing you guys how to smell clean all day. And I feel like when people think of like clean and like smelling clean it means you have to smell like laundry or like a super fresh scent but I have some scents here to show you guys and some tips to show you guys that um don't involve like super super like fresh clean scents you can smell clean no matter what scent you use so take this video with a grain of salt so yeah without further ado let's go ahead and get started so we're going to start off in the shower, right? In the shower, you do your regular shower routine. So what that consists of for me is taking a washcloth and either a bar of soap or Dr. Bronner's Castile soap and using that to do my base clean. Your base clean is what's really going to get all the dirt, grime, smelliness off your body and it's really just supposed to like scrub off any foul odors that are left, okay? So I do that and then I usually like to exfoliate. Exfoliate, I don't exfoliate every day, but when I do, it definitely makes me feel so much cleaner. It just leaves your skin super, super smooth. So I like to use a tree hut scrub. Um, you can use any scrub you want. They, there are so many, okay? So after that, you wanna go in with a body wash. So when I wanna smell clean, I have it right here. I like to go for like a cleaner scented, body wash again you can use any body wash that you want but I love a cucumber melon this is one of my favorite scents I got this during the semi-annual sale for like three bucks and it is amazing I also love a classic flannel by Bath and Body Works it's a men's fragrance but I absolutely love it so much it smells I stutter there it just smells so so amazing I'm obsessed with it so you always want to go in with a scented like a scented shower gel if you are more sensitive in your skin and you can't really wear fragrance too much um just do for, go for like a mild scented body wash I mean anything is fine or just use a sensitive skin body wash once you get out of the shower of course you want to lotion I like to pair my lotions with my fragrance okay I didn't bring all my lotions just because you can honestly do any lotion that you want but an extra step that will just kind of help make you like look cleaner I think is adding a like little glow oil onto your skin especially if you're wearing shorts or like a low cut top if you're wearing like a turtleneck and jeans you don't need to do this obviously because no one will see it but if you are going out or you're just, you know, going on a brunch date and you're wearing like a little strappy shirt, put some of this on your chest. You're going to look so freaking cute, okay? I love glow oil and this one is by Sol de Janeiro. You can find it at Sephora, but a lot of different brands make shimmer mist or glow oil, so yeah. And then of course, when I want to smell clean, I always like to use a deodorant. So here I have one of my favorite deodorants ever. This is the Native Fresh mistletoe i just did a video all about native products so if you guys would like to check that out definitely go watch it this smells so good it smells like um mahogany teakwood by bath and body works and i just find this just elevates your scent like it really just adds that extra oomph and i love it moving on to fragrance which i know you guys are probably here for i have first aqua kiss this is one of my diehard favorite Victoria's Secret mist. This has Cool Waters Bright Daisy Make a Splash. I've used up a lot of it. This just smells like a Dolce & Gabbana light blue perfume. It smells so aquatic and floral and it's not a typical sort of like laundry scent. Um, if you don't like that kind of a fragrance, I think this is great because it's nothing too heavy but you can still really smell it and it just makes you smell really crisp and clean which I love and again I like to drench I like to spray my clothes and then I spray myself and then I like to just kind of spray it in my hair not directly just like spray it and let the mist fall I heard it's not the greatest for your hair but if you really want to you can just find like a hair mist but I just use this it, it works fine I don't put too much in my hair just a little bit so yeah like I mentioned in the beginning you don't need to have like a fresh smelling 
fragrance to smell clean, you know? I also think that Bare Vanilla is a fragrance you can wear if you want something more sweeter. Um, I think Bare Vanilla is great. I know not everyone likes, like, fresh and clean fragrances, so Bare Vanilla would be a great one. I just think it smells very mature and expensive. It smells like cashmere. It has whipped vanilla and soft cashmere, so it literally smells so expensive, and I would literally just wear this right now, and I think it would just make me look super clean and smell just, like, put together. When I think of clean I don't always think of like soapy clean kind of, of a scent I really think of like just like put together crisp I don't know that's kind of what my brain goes to but I think bare vanilla is a great one for those of you guys who don't want like a traditional fresh and clean scent another fragrance is gingham of course I had to add my baby this one is amazing it has clementine in here it just smells like you're going on a boat, you're going on the water, or like you're going to brunch. This with just like a white t-shirt and some skinny jeans or like boyfriend jeans would look super cute. Also with like some bedazzled sandals or something I think would just be amazing. There's something about citrus notes also that I think just smells super fresh. Um, again, this is for my girls who like fresher, cleaner kinds of scents. If you don't, I have other options. We're just mixing it up here. Another fragrance that isn't your traditional clean scent. This is Pure Wonder by Bath & Body Works. I absolutely love this. This is a new purchase for me. And this has Iced Rosé, Star Jasmine, Warm White Amber. I think the white amber in here really makes it smell more luxe. This has a little more of like a powdery floral note. But I think also florals are great for smelling clean. I guess the only fragrances that I wouldn't want to wear personally, again, this is personally, um, would be like super gourmand scents. Uh, personally, that's just not something I would want to wear if I'm trying to achieve the clean look, but you do you. This scent is so good, perfect if you guys are more of like a girly girl and you are super into like that cottage house style. I think this is perfect. It smells perfumey, but not too perfumey, so I don't think it would give anyone a headache. And I think the concept of smelling clean isn't to like over, over spray to the point where like you're going to knock someone out with your scent. These are body mist so you can over spray and it won't be a huge deal because it will kind of just fade away. But with real perfumes, I would not be drenching myself. I do like three sprays, but Pure Wonder is a great one. I mean, it just looks so clean too. Like I love it. Next up, I have a perfume. This is Fresh Cream Warm Cashmere by Philosophy. This is also a newer perfume of mine. And this is kind of like Bare Vanilla, where I think because of the cashmere, it just smells super, super clean and like cozy. This is something I would wear in the winter time, like now, if I want to smell clean. I think I'm just super obsessed with like cashmere scents because every scent that has cashmere in it I'm obsessed with and this one you can find at Ulta or Sephora I think but yeah I really really like this and I think this is perfect with like a chunky like knit sweater and some like boots so cute and like with your hair like slicked back I think it would like chef's kiss amazing and of course, I had to mention this. I know some people don't like this fragrance, but I personally do. This is Beachfront Blanket. You can't get this anymore, but you can find it on Mercari or any sort of like resale rep website. This has fresh white linen, summer sun rays, and soft musk. Definitely something that you can wear year round. I don't think this is just a summer fragrance. It smells literally like dryer sheets. This is super, super potent, so be careful. Don't overspray or overdo it because um, with the lotion alone, I smell like it a lot. So please be careful. This, again, you're wearing white, you know, you're wearing a white dress. I think this is so cute. Or, like, this is perfect for work if you're wearing, like, a white button-up. I think it would be amazing, and it lasts super, super long, which I love. That's why... I haven't made a huge dent because you really don't need a lot of this in order to smell like it. 
All right, you guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video on how to smell clean. Again, take all of this advice with a grain of salt. Everything is super preferential. It's all preference, you know? So what I like might not be what you like, and what you like might not be what I like. But I think the whole concept of, like, smelling clean is just kind of, like, taking care of yourself. It all falls back onto self-care and really just, you know, taking care of your body. Drink lots of water, you know? feel good from the inside and then outside you'll be amazing you know so yeah thank you guys so so much for watching today's video don't forget to follow me on tiktok so i've been posting on there like crazy and you guys will see like sneak peeks of future videos that i'm filming so yeah i love you guys and i'll see you in my next one bye